Final boss, as soon as we start, the Eye of Odin is going to be flying around all over the place. You want to use your strongest attack on it, again, which is either our air dive or our throw, our tickle, tickle throw. And you want to hit it with your strongest attack. So, as it, you know, it's a jerk, it moves around, it'll even fly off screen, and you're like, where'd you go? Come on, come on back. Alright, so, we got the air dive, and now you can see in the lower right, that, that health is tied to Demona. We just did, or Demona and I of Odin. We just uh, hit it for its first attack. Um, and we wanna, we're gonna continue to do damage as we take out these dogs uh, that are getting transformed from the Eye of Odin. One of the older strats to fight the dogs was to stand here and sort of tickle them, if you can get it right. I think it was I think it was a mix of tickling them and something else. I started to do these little short hop air dives, just rocking back and forth, and found that that was really quick. And do the same here. Uh, one one key thing to note: uh, so using the second technique, that double jump, like how you can double jump off of certain. These are spikes that you can um, sort of. Get, take damage from if you try to jump past them you it is possible for you to get around them just as I almost did right there and get all the way to the top but if you do that there's a, a high chance that you won't spawn Demona and you can soft lock the game so be careful not to do that like if you're in a rush uh, you got to essentially take out the dogs you want to take out the dogs so you take out this dog and as you each dog, set of dogs you take out, they drop a full health. So, so now this is the final fight and close to the end of our tutorial as well. Get up here, as soon as you land on this ledge, it'll initiate the fight and stuff. And I'm going to do a save state because I just want to show off uh, at least a few things. So the normal way to fight this, land up here, take off the cutscene. You want to basically hit the Eye of Odin while dodging these guns that come out the walls and also dodge Demona. I think she starts flying around the screen. But essentially get up there, double jump if you can. Oh, yeah, dodge the Eye of Odin as it shoots you. You can get up on top of the ceiling, air dive on top of it, or do your normal attacks. I highly uh, suggest do not use your normal attacks at all, like air dive on top of it. Whether you get to the ceiling here and air dive, or just double jump from, like, climb up, avoid the bullets, and air dive onto the Eye of Odin. You have to do this a few times before Demona does that and goes into her second form where she's flying now all across the screen. Oh, and she can easily knock you off, as you can see there. If she knocks you off and you die, you have to start this whole climb all over. That it, that includes going against the dogs again. Uh, the safety strat is the ooh, that's like how she is right here right now. She's clinging onto this wall. If you can get above her on the ceiling and air dive on top of her, so I was too slow because I was just sort of surprised she was next to me. Yeah, air dive like that on top of her. And with the air dive, like as we are now, we, it only takes two air dives to take her out and complete the game. So we air dive again, and that completes the game, but I don't want to end it right there just like that. Um, so that's the safety strat. Let's do this fight again. That's well, I should say that's the old safety strat. I'm actually going to show you all the the, the new the newer newer strat so we do you know do all this again i like to zigzag back and forth as i as i hit her because sometimes you can get like double hits off of, off the eye of odin and it makes the fight quicker so the other way to take her out besides hanging on the wall is the time it just right as she's coming up from the floor and air diving on top of her which is a pain but sometimes it's much quicker than hanging on the ceiling and whatever Gosh, she keeps going to the right. I'm hoping she go to the, ah. She went to the left finally, and I missed. All right. Okay, Demona, stop being the jerk. 
There we go. So we got one hit. And time it right for the next one, which I didn't. Didn't again. Two hits. So that would that would complete the game again. Newer strat that I found recently for this fight is using the third technique. Again, this is why this technique is is even considered well, this is one of the reasons I you know I really value it now. As soon as you land on the ledge here with the Demona, keep running uh, and jumping. So I get up here, I'm running and jumping, and I'm not activating the cutscene right now. As long as I do this, it won't activate the cutscene. I think even like I just gotta run and jump. What you can do now while that's happening is go up here, do whatever you want. If you want, you can take a nap up here in the corner. Or check out like the cracks in the walls make sure there's no bugs coming through or even more importantly start air diving on top of the eye of Odin and look at the health in the lower right corner so now all her health's gone I stop moving she triggers out haha I'm about to fight you no you're not she she drops and then I wait for her to do her flying crap. And now I just need to hit her just one time. Instead of the two. It's still a pain. But it definitely cuts down the annoyance. Especially if you get that, that one right moment to hit her, you know? Okay, so yeah. She, she still wants to be a jerk. Hopefully I can get the hit. Before she knocks me into the pit. Up oh. and up, oh. there it is, and that completes the game. That 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 way to kill her uh, is what I use, I think, in my current PB, and it brought the time down to what it is today, the 1237, which uh, I think we can definitely bring it lower. Ah, but yes, that is gargoyles. That is the tutorial. I hope this is much better. Yeah, the realization was the run changer. It was very nice. I can speak to everybody now. Thank you, Nate. Thank you, everybody that's tuned in. Zetox, who currently has the number two time on the board, who's going to take my world record from me. Push this game lower. I hope everybody's doing well. And thanks for the kind words to Zetox. I really appreciate that. Um, uh, thanks, Zetox. Thank you. Yeah, I hope this is much better than the other one I had up there. And I hope it, it helps the Discathlon runners and uh, any future speedrunners of this game. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me or any of the other runners on the board. I'm sure would be willing and willing to help. You know bring more people into the fold and yeah so that completes this tutorial I am now I'll highlight this at some point later and make sure it gets on the discathlon discord as well as back on the speedrun.com <laughs>